These are some assorted peppers that my nephew, my nephew David, gave me. We're going to make us some nice salsa. These are already drying a little bit, but they're still in excellent shape. All right. So you de-stem them or take the stems off. Try to keep them sealed because we're going to boil these. We have just enough water there to uh, to cover the peppers. And then we're going to throw in a whole medium-sized onion to this. All right. That's a uh, quartered onion, of course. I am adding three garlic cloves. We're going to throw them in there. There's the onion. You see the onion? We're going to put this to boil. And we're going to add salt to your taste. You add the salt. I add a little bit and I add a little bit. And then when it's completely done, I taste it and see if it needs more. Here's our beautiful, beautiful garlic, um, <laughs> garlic, cilantro. I don't think I'm going to use all of this. I'll use about, eh, about, about half of it. There you go. Now you can cut your cilantro however you want, but I have found that the best way to cut cilantro, to finely chop it, is to fold it in half as much as you can, get it in a tight little wad, and then start chopping at the beginning. This is what you get. You get a nice little chop without having to fight it too much. Being that I don't have fresh tomatoes, I'm going to use these San Marzano's. These are fantastic. I've had them before. They're Italian and they are delicious in the sauce. You can cook them if you want a little bit, if you don't trust them too much. But I love them just as they are. Uh, I'll, I might throw them in the mix a little bit, but only for a, look, a couple of seconds, you know. Now, I'm not going to use all the Roma San Marzano's, but look at this. Nice. I'm going to use about five of these straight out of the can. I don't want to cook them. I want that flavor from the can as they come. It is delicious. All in the blender. And after hitting pulse a few times... This is what we get, a nice, beautiful, delicious, chunky salsa. Throw in your cilantro last. Don't ever cook your cilantro and a zest of lime.